Hello dear students, many of the students who are preparing for exam, they are asking that how much is enough to solve the PYQs and how many PYQs we should be doing per day. So here I would like to ad advise you once again that there is no limit for that thing because some subjects you may, may be a very good so speed will be faster some subjects you may not be that good so you may be slower so that depends on the situation your topic and your subject what you are handling with but at this moment what i will say that try to solve maximum uh, pyqs and what pyqs those who are preparing for neat pg they should target pyqs of the initiate exam also plus neat pg five years of the neat pg exam questions and three to four years of the ini ct exam question paper pyq should be targeted by this you can customize or you can make a plan for that that how many mcq you should be solving if we are targeting this according to that you go for those who are preparing for fmg exam for them i will say five years of the fmg exam question paper then three years of the initiate exam question paper and four years of the neat pg exam question paper this should be uh, followed by you and in a day suppose uh, what i want to say that in a day if you are uh, reading for studying for 10 hours so give 60 percent of the time or you can say little bit excess to the 50 percent for your theory right and theory you revise your notes from the important topics rest of the time means i, I would like to say that 40 percent of the time you should give for the pyqs so that is what i wanted to say that don't try to uh, do the uh, q banks even though you have solved your q bank if you have bookmarked that then you can uh, review those questions which were tough for you note it down in your notes for the end moment revision otherwise i will not advise some students they had asked about the 20th notebook yes you can prepare 20th notebook at any moment but don't write too much information into that just write only selective things which you feel that it is utterly important and you may forget so in that way you can prepare but don't focus much on that thing right so you have to prepare i'm not saying you should not you should prepare but don't write too much into it that it will be burden on your head to write also and then to revise also because right now we don't have much time for the neat pg exam so this is why oh, this is my take on in the last 20 days for your neat pg preparation or last month of the fmg preparation exam so you should be having mixture of the these two things those uh who have not written any grand test because i got one message like that so even if you have not written grand test now also you can start and in the last what i want, want to say that see uh, eventually we all are very good in studies right it's not like that somebody is less or somebody is more because competition is so tough and everybody is good so it is very difficult to choose who is the better one so that day your fate will decide that who will be selected or who will not be selected but beforehand what matters most is your mindset because many of the good student i have seen they lose their mindset at the end moment especially in the last 15 days or last seven days so that is what i am saying you have to prepare your mind from now onwards keep saying on this to your mind that you are good and you are going to give your best and you are going to get through in this exam keep pampering your mind with positive thoughts and i'm telling you small small changes into the mindset will create a very big difference during the exam time so this is a very very powerful thing don't ignore it reading revising all that thing is secondary the most important and the primary thing is the mindset those who are aggressive for their studies yes i will do it they actually do very well in exam those who become timid that i have whether whether i will be doing it or i'm confused i'm having a lot of doubt don't have anything in your mind i'm already telling you have completed your mbbs this itself is a big testament for your intelligent mind your efficiencies so don't have any self-doubt give your best effort do the revision of the pyqs write all the grand test without altering your mental status and i'm sure that you all are going to shine in your exam and my best wishes to all of you